it for you to be on this big stage? Feels good, man. You know, what I mean, I'm extremely excited. Um, you know, it's gonna be like what, like 40,000 people that I'm gonna be fighting in front of. Whole main event. You know, I'm very excited, man. You know, it's, it's like a dream come true fighting at the Cowboy Stadium. So I'm very excited. Of course, you want to get the win, but do you have to win defensively? Is that the goal to, to get the stoppage? Yeah, I'm looking. To, I'm looking to go in there and get a knockout. I don't see why I can't get the knockout. You know, what I mean, I've been training extremely hard, three months training for this camp, and I'm just extremely ready. What has the weight been like to get back in the ring? And it's been good right now. I have like six pounds left to lose, you know what I mean? So I haven't struggled with weight at all, you know what I mean? I've been on a diet for at least three months now, you know what I mean? So, I'm like I said, the work has been done in and outside the ring, you know what I mean? Everything has been uh, everything has been perfect leading up to this fight, and I'm extremely ready. Is it difficult though in any way? No, it's just, you know, um, we just, you got to do everything right, you know, by the diet. I haven't had no soda, you know what I mean? No sugars, no nothing. It's just straight, uh, 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 straight diet, you know, fish, salmon, um, chicken you know it's, 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 it's been really easy easy but it, we have to be dedicated to that that's the only hard part but it's, it's been good. Uh, David, talk about losing uh, winning the title being the, the youngest super middleweight champion in history and then not long after being stripped of it what what was that like you know it was, uh, it was a little bit difficult you know what i mean because i beat myself for the belt basically you know what i mean i got it taken away but you know like i said 2019 we're not we're not taking no steps backwards we're just going forward this whole year how much of being here already gets you acclimated how much you think that's going carry over on fight night you've been here a couple weeks before. i've been here for like two weeks already you know what i mean i just the good thing i came early because i didn't think it was going to be this cold <laughs> you know what I mean? so, um i just getting a, getting a feel for the city you know what i mean and i feel like i'm getting used to the to everything here, so I'm, I'm just gonna be ready for the fight. How do you stay hungry? You got you got the belt and stuff, but you still seem like a challenger more than a champion. Yeah, because there's a lot of good fights I know that could be made this year. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm very excited. You know that um, there's a uh, Anthony Durrell, Caleb Plant, maybe Colin Smith. You know, there's a lot of good fights on the table. So I just got to do my part. You know, and uh, hopefully I can face one of those fighters in the end of the year. So get that hand raised. Who you calling out? Um. I'm already in line to fight for the WBC title, you know what I mean? I'm already first in line, but I got to take care of my job with um, with Jay Leon Love, and then I get Anthony Durrell next. What you, think of, what you think of Caleb's uh, performance? It was a good performance, you know what I mean? He did good. He did what he had to do, you know what I mean? But um, like I said, that, that's one of the fights I want to get done maybe later this year. How are you a different guy than the guy um, you know, I just more dedicated now. You know, I had everything taken away from me, so you know, I don't, you know, that don't feel good. You know what I mean? So now we're just going forward. Like I said, we're not taking no looks back. We're not taking no steps back either. And we're just, um, we're just making my family and all, all my people behind me proud. Do you think that learning experience will make you a better fighter in the big picture? Of course, you don't want the, no negativity to come, but it seems like that negative's been a positive. Yeah, the negative. You know, as long as you can turn the negative in, into the positive, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's made me more, uh, made me more dedicated, made me more hungry. You know what I mean? Just so I can prove to all these people. I'm not what they say, you know, and I'm just ready to come back. What you, challenges does Love uh, pose for you in this fight? He's a he's a good boxer, a counter puncher, you know what I mean? Uh, he has a lot of he's he's been in the game for a long time, you know what I mean? But I'm like I said, I've been ready for everything. I've studied I've studied him a lot, you know. I've been working with boxers, brawlers, um, the whole nine yards, you know what I mean? So we're just ready for anything he presents. Do you, do you, you have to take advantage of him fading late in late fights? Um, been, that's been his ammo in his career. About that seven eighth round, he starts petering out. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do a lot of things to him, you know. It's, if, whether he fades in the beginning of the fight or the last fight, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen. But we're, we're gonna take care of business. Do you want to become the undisputed champion, or do you want to move up? No, I want to become the undisputed champion. That's my that's my ultimate goal, and then I can talk about moving up. But right now, I want all the belts. Hey, David, yeah, you know, I mean, it's just my circle right now. It's just my dad, my teammates. You know, what I mean, and just. I just been more focused, you know, looking at the bigger picture, what I really want for my life now. You know, I just, I kind of let the distractions, I, I kind of let that outside my circle. And I don't, I just, my ultimate goal right now is become undisputed, uh, unified uh, uh, title holder in my weight class. He's doing good, you know. What I mean, he's doing as best as he could, as he could, as he could do. He's coming back, you know. It's a, it was, a, it was a big loss, you know. It was, a, it was a good fight, you know, but it was a, it was hard because it was the last 12 seconds of the fight, you know. But he's gonna come back strong. You know, Jay Leon Love is a, he's a boxer. You know, he's a, more of a counter puncher. So you know, so we've been working with a lot of guys like of his style, a lot of guys that just box a lot. But you know, um, we work with that, with everybody, and we're just ready for anything. Any predictions? Yeah, I'm looking to get a knockout. I don't know when, but I'm looking to get a knockout. <coughs> I feel good. You know, I, I only took like about three months off. Even though I was, I was suspended, I didn't. I didn't take too much time off. I was always in the gym, so I'm just ready. How many times you want to fight this? Week? I want to fight at least three times, at least three times. If they give them to me, I'm going to fight three times. Thank you, guys.